Hello everyone and welcome to a webinar on intelligent solution for conceptual PNIDs for process engineers. Uh, thank you for taking time out of uh, your busy schedule for this webinar. Uh, this is a go to webinar session. Uh, you can use go to webinar question pane or chat box to post your questions and we'll address those at the end of the session. Well, before uh, going into the detail of a solution, uh, let us see how a PNID software is perceived by various users today. You know, for draftsmen, they need inputs from process group to start drafting a PNID. They need easy to use drafting features for placing of components, pipelines, instruments, etc. Since it is an iterative process, they need a tool which with quick change management, revision management features. Also, various outputs are expected, such as reports, data sheets out of PNID. Uh, there are various challenges, if, uh, if you see, uh, which is highlighted in red, uh, which are faced by draftsmen. One, uh, they work on a, a very highly dependent workflow. Uh, there are a lot of limitations of a drafting PNID with automatic features, uh, lack of information extraction from PNIDs, and managing engineering changes. Whereas uh, a process engineer, uh, when he looks at a uh, PNID solution, first of all, he doesn't use uh, uh, a PNID uh, tool uh, by himself. He, you know, for process engineers, you know, PNID is a DNA of any plant. Uh, it's one of it's one of the document once created is referred at every stage of a plant life cycle. For process engineers, uh, they need information about specifications, media calculations, uh, other data, etc. Uh, piping needs uh, vendor data, equipment list, data sheets, uh, pro the procurement team needs cost information of plant objects, operations team uh, needs as-built asset information, etc. You know, the process engineer would like a tool, and particularly a non-CAT tool, which is independent of a CRAD draftsman, and he's the owner of a PNID where he can define specifications, engineering data, and extract various informations. Also, an intelligent tool with change management. Now, uh, why a non-CAT tool? Now, in order to fulfill all these expectations which I mentioned uh, in my earlier uh, slides, many companies have enhanced their existing PNID solutions or they have introduced uh, you know, smart PNID tools, uh, CAD-based tools. However, it is being hardly used by process engineers. Now, you know, they deal with a lot of non-CAD data uh, for conceptualizing uh, you know, process design. They use discrete systems such as flowchart, Excel sheet, manual processes to create uh, block flow diagrams, process flow diagrams, etc. You know, they still have to depend on CAD draftsman in order to use this smart uh, PNID softwares or solutions. Right? So, that's where we are today. Uh, you know, we're looking at these challenges and expectations. Uh, ITN factory GmbH from Germany, which is a subsidiary of uh, Nilsoft, have conceptualized a non-CAD based solution uh, that is Visio PNID Process Designer, which is a tool only for process engineers and field salespeople for creating intelligent PNIDs. A Visio PNID Process Designer uh, is based on Microsoft Visio as a base platform. As we know, Visio is a drafting tool which is very easy to use. It is being used mostly by process engineers. Uh, we have developed an add-on using object-oriented database technology with a lot of intelligent features, uh, keeping the ease of mind, uh, ease of use in mind. We will see some of these interesting features of uh, Visio PNID Designer in our demonstration today. A simple tool like Visio is being enhanced to a spec-driven smart PNID solution. Uh, these are few of the announcements like uh, intelligent process industry symbols as per ISO, ANSI, DIN, ISA standards, built-in document and revision management features, auto tagging and powerful report generation capabilities. Okay, so these are a few of the key features which we are going to see today uh, in a demonstration now. Okay, so let us see what Visio PNID Process Designer is all about.
okay um, hello everyone so uh, this is the uh, simple interface of uh, how the visio pin id workflow goes on so we say that it's it's a seven step process to quickly and easily create your intelligent pin id drawings so first is to create your project structure then you can uh, set up your stencils group in the drawing and you can add your symbols third is to um, create your media that is a service based upon your project structures and project requirements then you can quickly start placing the objects in the drawing you can connect the objects with the different pipelines and then you can um, assign the annotations or object designations in your PNID drawing once your PNID is created you can generate or extract the reports uh, such as your pipeline list, valve list, uh, equipment list or data sheets etc and also you can export the drawings in um, AutoCAD DWG format as well as in PDF formats so this is a typical workflow which has been followed in uh, Visio Pinari Process Designer now let us go through the quick demonstration So during our presentation, we have seen how Visio PinID helps in planning or in designing of process workflow. But uh, before going into technical demonstration, let us quickly go through different types of reports which can be extracted from Visio PinID. So this is a sample uh, example of equipment list which you can generate from Visio PinID Process Designer. You can have the templates and you can add the properties as per the project requirements. This is a typical example of pipeline list. The tag numbers, descriptions, materials. This is the example of valve lists. You can add your tag numbers, manufacturer name, etc. Our pump data sheets can also be created from Visio PNID. And also the instrument list with all the details for the instruments can be extracted in Excel sheet as well as in Word document. Now let us go through the technical demonstration. When you start the software, project and document management dialog appears in the screen which shows the database and projects. The project structure consists of database, projects, document folders and the drawings these drawings can be opened from this stage now this is the interface of Visio Pinali professional on the top you see different menus are available which has intelligent commands to help you quickly and easily create your binary drawings on the left hand side we have stencils menu which consists of intelligent PNID symbols and shapes based on industry standards On the right hand side we have Visio PNID tree which shows the structure view of documents and database of the project. This tree displays view of the objects and drawing in the database. Now to start the PNID drawing let us quickly place the border and title block. It provides default border and title block which can be placed in the drawing. Now using project wizard we can quickly create multiple medias which can be assigned to your pipelines in the projects. We can attach um, different attributes to media such as color, line type, line width, etc. And that media can be also seen in your Visio binary tree. Now let us quickly start adding some of the objects and fittings in your um, PNID drawing. Let us take an example. I'm taking a vessel and just drag and drop it to my drawing area which will automatically shows up the tagging structure. We can attach the um, other fittings such as nozzles to the uh, vessel. Now the important part is the nozzle tag will come automatically and it will be created as a child component on the vessel. So there will be relationship will be generated between vessel and your nozzle. We can also edit the information for the vessel or any objects in my binary drawing such as the tag numbers and other relevant properties. 
we can also see the connection overview, the structure view of the vessel which are connected to the nozzles. Now once our vessel and nozzle is created in binary drawings, we can start placing the pipelines based upon the media which we have created. So let us take, I am taking media of water and we can change the size of the pipelines. So it's just simple easy drag and drop the pipelines and based upon the uh, auto snap functionality it will add your pipeline. You can see the color code is also depends upon the media color which you have created earlier. The tag number and the nozzle size will come automatically once the pipeline is attached to the nozzle. Now we are providing one more inlet pipeline to the vessel so we will now here we are changing the media to carbon dioxide size to 80 DN80 and then just dragging and dropping to the other nozzle. This will automatically change the uh, color based upon the media requirement and the size for the nozzle will come automatically. Once the pipeline is created we can stretch it and uh, drag it uh, based upon the drawing requirements easily. We are going to provide this as a um, outlet pipelines coming uh, from the below of the vessel which is going outside of the pinarid drawing and the media color will be taken automatically based upon the pipeline. So all these information can be available in your Viso PNID tree. So as we said that we have a parent child relationship so all the medias associated with the pipelines can, can be easily available and can be seen in your Visio Pinari tree structure. If we see go to our vessels, we can see the vessel is also connected to four nozzles. Now let us quickly add some of the inline fittings to your pipelines or, or before that we will add a pump. So we have different types of shapes based upon industry standards pump is available. Once the pump is connected, it will automatically create a motor as a sub-ordered object and the tag number so both the objects will be appear automatically based upon the tagging structure which we have given. We are going to add a compressor to our carbon dioxide pipeline. In the same way as we have created the pump, motor will come automatically. Next we are going to add a pump to our outlet pipeline. And you can see the tag numbers and uh, uh, the motor with the server objects comes automatically. We have a visual feature which can rotate the tag numbers also. Now let us quickly add some inline fittings such as valves to your pin added drawings. Once the valve is added to your pipelines it automatically cuts the pipelines and fit it inside and it will give you the size also based upon the pipeline size. Based upon the uh, uh, wall placements, the, the flow direction will be taken automatically. So it's just a drag and drop easily uh, you can create your pinary drawings and the tag numbers or the size for the walls will come based upon the uh, tagging structure as well as the pipeline uh, created earlier. We have stencils for instruments also, so we can place different types of measuring instruments such as um, pressure indicator, lever indicator or temp temperature indicator. Here we are placing a simple measuring instrument for uh, connected to a motor which is uh, a speed controller and we can change the tag number also. Once the connection is given, you can see in your uh, edit dialog box where which will show the connection overview of the uh, objects and will show the object parent child relationship also. Now next is regarding the construction set. It Visupinity offers a special tool known as construction set that's a creation of your assembly in your Pinati drawings. So by selecting the overall objects you can go to create construction sets where you can define the assembly name such as um, I'm giving a mixing unit 
and you can add it to your stencils. Now we just need to drag and drop it from the stencils area to our drawing area and overall assembly will be placed. And all the object which is placed now will have the updated tag numbers. Once the assembly is added, we just need to connect the unconnected pipelines. And also in tree structures, all the individual objects will be available which is used in construction set. Next feature I would like to show you about cross reference. Cross reference are the connectors which are used to connect one pinary drawing to another. It can be combined amongst the diff, uh, others linked to loose end of the pipelines in different pinary drawings with each other. We can provide cross reference ID which will automatically uh, once it is added and we can highlight the target which will automatically open the pinary drawing connected to the same cross reference ID. Thus cross reference always occur in pair. So if you go vice versa we uh, when we highlight the other pin ID drawing, it will open the different, uh, the first pin ID drawings. Visual pin ID also offers to automatically create the or insert a legend sheet which will list the symbols used in the pin ID drawing. This legend sheet template can be customized as per the project requirement. Next, I would like to tell you about logic analyzer. This is a tool to check the logical errors in your project. Visual Pinati provides a wide range of check routines based upon which users can check the Pinati drawings. For example, tag numbers, uniqueness, nominal size, pipeline code, etc. So to test this, let us check we have a, a duplicate tag number for a pump that is P006. Now if we run the logic analyzer, on a project level and we select the check routine for uniqueness of equipment codes we will find a warning which will which is showing that a centrifugal pump have a duplicate tag number and we can zoom and highlight to that object in our in our pinary drawings so once we detected the warning we can actually go to that pump can change the tag number as per project settings and the tag numbers will be changed in the drawing. To verify it, we can again run the logic analyzer and we will see that there is no warning now. In this way, we can perform our checking options at our project level as well as drawing level. Next is object designation. This command allows user to designate, label or annotate objects in your drawing based upon the customer or project requirements. Designation can be single attribute as well as combination of multiple attributes which can be saved in your stencils. Once object designation is configured, we just need to drag and drop it from the stencils and place in the drawing area. This will automatically take the property for the objects annotated. For example, here in this case, we have annotation for the pipelines. We can also annotate attribute value for other objects such as walls also. If you want to annotate walls for the, manuf uh, annotate for the manufacturer value as well as size. Visual Pin ID also provides two options to export the drawing directly. One is in DWG format and other in PDF formats. So once the drawing has been exported, you can see all the um, layer information that is your color, uh, the jumpers between two pipelines crossing to each other, all the relevant information will be available in PIN ID drawings as well as in AutoCAD DWG format. So you can see in, in PDF all the color codings, tagging, the jumpers, and the legend sheets will be appear in the PDF as well as DWG drawing.
Now, custom symbol creation is very easy in VisoPin ID. User can create new symbols for specific object using Visio graphics. So let us create a wall symbol using Visio primitives. So once the symbol is created using Visio primitives, we can provide more detailings such as colors also or some more details, boltings, etc. So this is just a sample um, symbols and we can provide some more color coding to it. Once the symbol is created, we can group it and can provide the connection points and insertion points. So connection points and insertion points are, uh, are provided to connect to your pipelines. So once the connection and insertion point is defined, we can use create new symbol command which can define the object classes and insertion points and connection points will come automatically. Now we can define the uh, shape name such as custom wall and we can add it to our stencils. So this will inherit all the properties of the default uh, wall object class. Now to test it, let us place quickly a pipeline and we will drag this wall on my pipelines which will um, automatically cut the pipelines and the tag number will come. You can see all the relevant information from the object wall has been come and can see the connection points also. Reports. Reports offer you the chance to embed information from Visio Pin ID in um, Microsoft Word or Excel documents. It has different report templates available based upon object types such as equipment list, pipeline list, wall list, etc. User can also create custom report templates as per the project requirements. So we can select the required template with the folder structure in which all the reports will reside. We can provide the naming conventions. Here you can specify once the report is created, you can specify more objects property also. So you can see all the relevant information which is you have given in drawing will come to your reports. Let us create one more report for um, let's say uh, pipeline list in Excel format. We can again provide the naming convention and can uh, define the document group in which this report will be added and uh, you can see the tag number, media, all the relevant information from the pipeline is available. In the same way, we can create more reports. So I would like to create one more report quickly. Uh, let's say uh, wall list in Excel format once again. Can provide the naming convention. And based upon the specifications we have given in the drawing, the reports will be taken out. Next is revision and change management. Visual Pinari provides a functionality that allows you to create your revision of the documents. Either it's a Pinari drawing as well as reports created. To show the revision management and change management, let us go through the already created report for wall list. Here we notice that manufacturer column for wall is empty. Now how we can add the manufacturer value to all the walls which is already created in Pinary drawing. So we have a very good feature known as mass update where we can quickly filter to all the walls available and using fill and number option we can provide the any property value one time and all, for all the objects this value will be available. So test it let us just edit the information for the wall you can see manufacturer values is added. Now, once the report is already created, you no need to create it. Just click on update report and it will provide you a dialog box where you can provide the revision to your reports. So it is up to the uh, uh, user whether he wants to create the revision or he don't want to create it. We can provide the revision text 
and once you create the revision the revision of your reports will be created with the all the relevant information that is revision a has been created and the manufacturer value has been added just like you have added the uh, revision for your uh, uh, reports you can always see in your visual pen edit tree that once re one revision has been added to your ball list report in the same way we can create revision for your drawings so if you create a revision table it starts with um, initial revision as zero or you can have alpha numerical revisions also once you generate the revision table that will be automatically added to your title block area and this revision will be available in your tree structure also that was all from the uh, detailed technical demonstration on visual pnid here are some quick uh, business benefits it's easy to adoption adoption and low investment cost easy to learn because it's a uh, just quick and easy interface you can quickly um, drag and drop the objects from the stencils and uh, will automatically create your tag numbers symbols easy to use tool we have smart shapes and symbols available provides you big savings and which in terms of eliminates your tedious work and also it will help to uh, save your 20 to 40 percent of engineering cost as well as time and of course lastly it improves your overall efficiency of your engineering workflow Thank you for attending this webinar. If you have any queries or questions, please drop your question in the chat box. Also for more information, please visit our website.